Hello, this is Alex from phpacademy.org, back with another video for the new Boston. So, you'll notice that if you've already watched my um, introduction to XML uh, video, you'll notice that I've already um, I've retained the structure of my example, and I've put it into a file called example.xml. So, I've put it into an XML file, and what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is just reading in different um, elements of this data. So you can see that we've got our root tag here which is important, this must exist in every XML file you create. We've got our producers um, uh, as a root tag, we've ended our root tag obviously at the bottom. Um, and inside here we've got um, um, a tag here called producer and we're ending it here and we're doing the same three times and inside we've got um, elements name and age for each producer so what we can do is we can inside PHP once we've opened this XML file successfully we can um, say grab the age of the first producer or the name of the first producer and vice versa we can or so on and so forth we can say name and age for the second producer or the third producer and what we're going to be doing is inside our index.php file, we're going to be loading this file in and accessing it as if as if it were an array. We're loading this in as an array, if you like. Or rather, each um, each element in this, um, or each level to this, um, we're going to be accessing using this symbol here. So we've got a hyphen and a greater than sign. And then each... Um, each uh, child if you like so we've got producer here um, and so on and so forth into it so you can have uh, many parents and children blah 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 um, we're going to access using array so let's go ahead and open up our file I'm going to create a new variable called XML and I'm going to be using this function called simple XML load file now simple XML is um, a new feature introduced in PHP 5 that allows us to open a XML file using this function and really easily access each element of our XML file. So you'll see how simple it is in just a moment. So here we are going to specify example.xml. So now we've successfully opened up our XML, let's refresh our page. Uh, and see what happens. So we've got nothing at the moment because we're not returning any values. So now let's start to think about returning some values. So we need to think about this carefully. We don't need to include this producer's uh, root tag anywhere because uh, this is just the root tag of our document, it's not important. But what we can do is access each producer now because we've got these um, tags here and then elements inside. So let's go ahead and say XML, in fact, what we'll do is we'll say echo XML, and then we're using a hyphen and a greater than sign. Now we're going to say producer because this is the name of our tag here. And you need to remember that within XML, everything is case sensitive. So if this producer here had a P, uh, and the same with this one here, or capital P rather, and the same with this one, we need to give it a capital P when we. Um, go to access it um, inside here. So let's just save that file there. Okay, so XML producer, now we've got square brackets because we're gonna choose which producer we want to echo data for. So it's either producer zero, remember we're dealing with arrays, so we've got zero, one, or two. So just for an example, I'm gonna leap straight to the second, which is gonna be zero, one. So let's put a one in there. And now we need to access the uh, tag that we want to display. So I want to display the name and the age of the second producer. So now what we can do is say name, then we can castinate on here, and we can say age, oh sorry, age. Okay, so that's it, that's all we need to do. Let's go back to our, um, well let's re recap what we've done so far. We've opened up our XML file, we have um, echoed out um, our XML producer and the first and uh, uh, location one, which is the second producer. Remember, we start zero and one, and then we're echoing out the name and the age, which are the two tags inside here. So let's come and refresh in here. Um, undefined constant age. Let's have a look at this. Oh yeah, that's because. Um, yeah, that's because we've put a space in there. Okay, that's absolutely fine. What we can now do 
is just say um, age there as well I believe will work no okay so we'll have to uh, we have to uh, re redefine this uh, here so we'll have to say um, echo out the name um, and then we can concatenate on I think we can probably concatenate on XML producer one age so let's give that a refresh and see what happens okay yeah so now we've got Billy and then 16 so let's just put a space in here so it looks a bit nicer you could say it is even so we've read out the um, we've read out the uh, second um, producer from this file and we've read the name and the age so however many tags we add in here we can uh, we can produce them to the user so now you hopefully are starting to see why this can be useful we're transferring over data in a structured format that can be read in using um, a program like PHP or sorry code um, through PHP um, it can also be done with other sort of web web development languages and it can also be done with software so it's a really really useful tool okay so now what we want to look at is how we can um, loop so we can produce um, the names of all the producers so let's get rid of this code what we want to say is we want to say for each so we're using our for each statement here and inside here we can say for each XML producer as and we can just give this a variable name so I'm going to call this just producer so for each XML producer so we're using XML to open the file so for each one of these producers which we've named as producer we can uh, grab this data the specific data that we need so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say echo producer remember we're just referencing it from this producer here for each producer um, as producer we're echoing out the name first of all oh name um, and then we're echoing out producer age so we're saying well, we can pop a space in there is and then on the end we can just put a line break so for each of these producers in here producer one two and three at location zero one and two we are um, echoing out the producer name and then we're saying is and then producer age using this variable here for in our for each so if you don't know how for each loop there is a tutorial on it go back and have a look at that and uh, you'll that makes sense but for now if we refresh you can see that it's produced all three so now you can really start to see how useful this can be with things like YouTube videos in the example that I used in the introduction to XML I um, showed some showed some uh, YouTube XML output now what if you wanted to display say all tweets from a selected user on Twitter or you wanted to show all videos from a selected user on YouTube you can use exactly this to do that because you're loading in this XML file and you are um, showing the output using this kind of loop to take each producer in this case as a single variable and accessing each element or each tag of this whatever you want to call them um, in in sort of like a couple of lines rather than echoing that in individually so you might want to say add in now I mean we've defined our structure we've defined how this is structured so we know how it's structured but let's add another producer in we've added another producer in now so when we're reading back this data we're then just updating the data without knowing the how many elements are exist within this structure so the whole point of this simple XML tutorial is showing you that no matter what structure we have uh, within well as long as we know the structure no matter how many different pieces of data are in there we can grab every single piece of data and do whatever we want with it echo it out store it into a database store it into a file put it into another XML file or like I said before just simply echo it out to the user and display data like this